what's up planco fans uh, i'm jasmine and i'm michael and you are watching m j games um today we are exploring island expo phase one by sonomatic 14. Um, here is the description start your day at island expo on future island the sci-fi hub of the expo ride the robot arm dark ride atomic spiral Shrink to the size of an atom and go beyond the realm of the nucleus. Take a ride on Dimension Dipper, a themed monorail coaster that hops between Earth and space through portals and quantum rocks, and approach the sci-fi castle icon of the park, home of the future island trains. Take a grand circle tour and go inside the rides. Enter the first island nation, Madagascar, home to the Antananarivo mine train, I Eye Claw, Tenric Tumble, Lily Falls Log Flume, the Antana Revo Marketplace at the Foothills, and a dense rainforest. Coming on a separate map will be Phase 2, home of Japan, Iceland, and Sri Lanka. All right, so um, really great description there. As you can see, I didn't want to zoom in really too much because I didn't want to give away what we're about to what we're about to see here. Um, but really well lit up, and as he said, um, you can't see on the screen right now, but this has this is used 94% of the meter. So on a separate map, he's going to end up creating the um, he's going to create another like phase two, like another part of the park. And most parks, I feel like we look at it in the day. But Sonomatic just does such a good job with his lighting. Yeah, so like he the, does. It would not do his park justice to look at this in the daytime, in my opinion. Um, all right, so any initial thoughts? Well, first right off the bat is, is this bridge, and I really love the rainbow of the, um, the flowers. Mm -hmm. um, that's really cool. And obviously this... Um, what is this like an observation deck or something no that's that it's, it's <laughs> like in tomorrowland at disney where you've got the tram that goes around oh so yeah, it's like okay, a tram yeah, that will ride that i really like the look of that that looks really cool yeah it looks awesome i mean as always just his lighting is crazy um because sometimes i start lighting stuff and i'm like gosh that's too much lighting but it's just the way he does it is just it looks so good so that's how we get to madagascar i just want to make sure we don't miss anything because <laughs> this is he always so detailed with everything and so there's that robotic arm ride that we'll ride. Oh, okay. Um, we'll just ride whatever we get to first. But, I mean, obviously this is based off of, or it looks to me like it's based off of Tomorrowland at Disney. Um, very futuristic. Um, really cool. So growth ray. So that looks like a food place right there. You got a little water fountain. Can you, can you scroll back to the growth ray? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just want to see how... Um, this just looks really like I'm like how did he make this giant burger <laughs> oh okay so let's see um, let me get out of this for a second so uh, it looks like there's actual burger pieces oh okay okay cool I have not come across that but yeah they're in like the um, um where are they at for they props, are in probably. yeah the props part and I think it's it's not signs it's not art shapes. I think it's in other props. Um, and you've got, sorry, I'm just doing this real quick because food items, there we go. Food items, you've got all these different food items here. Oh, that's so neat. Um, so I think that's probably where he got all that stuff from. So, yeah, I've never, never noticed those before. <laughs> so, so that looks cool. Yep, so now you know. Um, oh, you know what, it turned daytime. Well, look, real, let's look in the daytime real quick to see kind of the overlook of it and then we'll turn it back tonight. Um, but you know first of all still really nice really lit up this one looks really nice too um but obviously like nighttime is when we need to need to be looking at this look at that coaster on the left that's like going in and out of the yeah like that's really cool yeah um we'll get to that in just a second um so now let's go back down and let's let's actually get on the first ride enough just talking right so it looks like okay we got Ooh, a queue I like here this. Yeah, this is um, right up your alley, right? Yeah. The ivy and all the different stuff. So this is called the Atomic Spiral. Um, you know, I've, I've seen parts of his park, and I have looked at it a little bit, but I've intentionally not looked at it in too much detail, just so 
Um, this will be genuine when Jasmine and I are going around and looking at this park. So I've seen little bits of this, but this is this is going to be a treat. So it's it's um, he did such a good job with everything in here. Um, okay, so this is one of those robotic arm things. I've never used this yet. Me either. So I wonder. Let's see. Cause I just want to make sure there's a good side to sit on. Um, so, oh gosh, which one are we on? Um, we're not that one. Okay, we're this one right here. So, I don't know which seat would be the best. Okay, so I guess it is just one side. Maybe it rotates. Okay. Or wait, did I? Maybe that's the end. Oh, it turns around. Okay, it turns around and then lets people on. That is um, quite unique. Wow. So we'll fast forward and get started. Snowflakes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool with doing the little. This looks like you're going to a solar system. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, I wouldn't even know how to begin to make a snowflake. Like with the pieces, like it just seems so complex. Wow. This ornaments? I think, was, I think it's like atoms or something. Oh. Since it's called the atomic um, right. spiral. Like how I don't I don't know how you even come up with a ride like this. Like how do you <laughs> Sonomatic, like you answered a lot of the questions last time um, when you watched your video. Like how do you <laughs> how do you begin to plan for this type of ride? I mean this is crazy. Now this is cool. Quantum Realm. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, this ride would definitely make me sick. In real life. Yeah, now I don't know if we're actually fully spinning upside down with it, to be honest. Or that's just... I, but, you know. I mean, it looks know. like... It looks like it. Wow, that was... That was an awesome <laughs> ride. Um, so that's one that you would say is awesome on the video game, but would, wouldn't do it in real life. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Yeah, I love the sign for it, too. Um, I mean, that was that was crazy. I, had, I think I'd ridden one of those before. Like, I haven't actually made one, but that was intense. Um, so the trains are up there. Let's ride that after so it looks like dimension dipper yeah this looks cool i really love this single rail yeah i, I love the single rail coasters too all right so here's the entrance i almost went through the exit um whoa oh there we go you okay. are just terrible at those i'm just kidding wow <laughs> wow you see how she treats me wow okay this is cool Ooh. So one thing I wonder, um, now this would this would mean you'd have to custom support and stuff, but I really wonder with this looking like you're in space, like if you were to custom support like this piece or something and don't do the cement portion and just kind of have the, the post go, would it look like it's continuing on in space? Do you know what I'm saying? Um, do you get what I'm trying to say there, no, Jasmine? No, I don't know what you're trying to say. So like if you were to custom support this coaster on this part, uh -huh. Um, and you just had, you know, these support pieces, but then you didn't have this cement block at the bottom and you had the support piece continue. Uh -huh. Would it look like it's kind of going oh. further in space? You know what I'm saying? Um, so well, I feel like... Well, isn't that like a floor? Yeah, that's a floor, but I just mean like, would it give you the illusion oh. that it's going further in space? You know what I I'm mean, saying? I mean, I would think so. Yeah. I, I would think so just because you can't really tell. I mean, you can't... Like, if those things weren't there, you wouldn't... Right. This is awesome, like how compact this is, and it's just really, 
Um, what, what's the this? What's this thing at the top with the um, the lights? What's that? Where? Are you? That oh, blue that right part. There? Yeah. Uh, if I can ever get to it. Um, oh, that's part of the rail. That's the train. Oh. That's the bottom of the trains or the trams. Oh, oh that looks really cool. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah. go on that next. So there's obviously the thing. Now, one thing he, um, uh, that Sonomatic has told me is he turns the friction down on his co uh, coaster. Um, and so basically what that does, at least from my understanding, is the less friction you have, the less your coaster would speed down in real life. Um, so like if you turn your friction or friction is normally at one, if you turn it down, your coaster will be able to get through the, um, oh, oh, hold on. Sorry. That's, uh, I messed up all, all that right there. Yeah. So by turning down the friction multiplier, you're able to have not quite as large of a hill, but still have it get through the ride. All right. Well, that was really cool with having multiple trains and it looked like it almost seemed like a dueling coaster going mm -hmm. side by side um, but and normally I don't really use the sci-fi pieces but this this is done really well and, it, and it's done in a way that makes me want to to try to do the sci-fi pieces for sure um I mean, man, the amount of triggers you had on that ride because of all the different doors going in and out. Really cool. Um, really well done. I also would like to know, did you build the coaster first and then build around it? Or did you have kind of parts of the building built in that aspect? But really cool. Um, you know, it's a very small and compact coaster, but yet it still has so many cool elements to it. Like there you see that initial hill. Yeah. That's I really, really like cool. the name too. Yeah. I don't know why I'm going this way. I meant to go the other way to this beautiful castle area that the trains go out of so it's the future island trains and, I, mean, I don't know why this is this reminds me of legos <laughs> i can see that now that you mention it um but man i mean look at the lighting on this like before we ride this let's just admire how beautiful this is i mean it's like it almost doesn't even look like building pieces with how much it's lit up it almost looks like flat screens that were made to project yeah. this like that is just phenomenal um really cool i wonder how many light pieces are underneath there so let's go ahead and ride these trams um oh where are they going <laughs> so this is like definitely like in the um look at that hat trying to see what yeah, we'll do front bumper. I feel like, oh no, sorry I messed. Sorry when the controls are not uh not going great so far to, today. So we'll do front bumper just so we can kind of look around a little more. Man, I've never made one of these things. These things pick up some pretty good speed. Um, let me just make sure that I am not okay. I was just making sure I didn't have it fast forwarding at all. I'm excited for this part though, seeing it go through the coaster area and stuff. Yeah, and this is one thing that I, I'd like to do more of is have rides that are near each other because I tend to just space everything out. Right. Yeah, it's like a, um, a little tree right there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's really great when you can have stuff compact, but have it still not be too overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? Um, have it look like it's not just stuff thrown down. 
So I believe we've done everything here on Future Island. That was awesome. Um, yeah, I re that's really cute. I, I love it. Sorry that this has not been my best camera work so far. Let's get the HUD back off. There we go, because this is definitely better um, when you don't have that on the screen. Which by Madagascar. Madagascar. Which, by the way, how you can do that is if you have a um, keypad or a keyboard. I don't know why I said keypad. Um, you can press Control, Shift, and G. Is that right? Yeah, Control, Shift, G. I just had to look at the keyboard to make sure I was saying that right. Um, so this is Anta <laughs> Nanavaro. Nanarivo. Nanarivo. Revolve. Yeah. And Antananarivo. Anton, Ant, I, I, got, I can't pronounce. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I don't, I would love to know how that's pronounced, um, but that's pretty awesome. Look at that building right there. Yeah, that's cool. With the clock and the lights, really well done. So, um, I don't know which way to go in this area. Which Let's way go to the right. Go? Let's go to the right. The mine train. Oh, yeah, the mine train ride. Okay. And then you got these buildings, so this is kind of like the, um, um, not that you're using the exact buildings, but it looks almost like partially some of the, uh, what do they call it, the, um, it's not necessarily Art Deco, but it's kind of that uh, city type building. Oh, the Riviera? Yeah, that's what it kind of reminds oh, me of, even, yeah, though, see that even though they're not the same kind of style. So this is, let's just look at the buildings you have here real quick. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah, well done. Oh, I like that you could kind of see the mine train in the background there. Well done. And I like these leaves too that you used and you've got it almost, even though it's not a beach, it kind of has like a beachy type feel. Yeah. Alright, so let's ride the mine train. Oh, that's a cool custom sign. Mm-hmm. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, this I is like nice. This. this is very nice. I really like the path and the the tree, the little palm tree bushes, jungle bushes, or whatever mm -hmm. those are called. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, and I like the path interaction on this one, too. Oh, this is the station. Yeah, man, he... he well, oh. <laughs> you really like having these big stations, and you do a good job with it, too. Um, very cool. Yeah. That is very interesting. I've never had a, a train or a coaster go back into the station, well, we, you know, like that. Yeah, we have to ride this one either front bumper or in the very back, just because of the train part being in front. So let's see, we're about to get going. Oh, I like how you've got, um, that almost looked like glass for a second. <laughs> With it being nighttime outside, that almost looked like you're looking out in the sky, that um, kind of wooden arch area. Nice big hill at the end. <clears throat> I 
Oh, that's cool that that last part's kind of near the end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so what are your thoughts about that ride? So, having uh, ridden my first mine train at Silver Dollar City a few weeks ago, that seemed like a very realistic take on it because they do go pretty quick, but then there also are some slower points and... Um, yeah. Yeah, that was really cool because it's it went in in a, it went in and out a lot of different buildings, um, so uh, and I really like that waterfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was really uh, really well done. I um, really enjoy that. That's my favorite coaster. The only suggestion I would have, and um, you know, I could be totally wrong with this. Um, you know, which I first of all I love how you had three lift hills because a lot of mine trains have that. I feel like a couple of these hills were a little bit too quick for a mine train because a mine train is such a big car um, that I feel like it just kind of um, awkwardly like hopped over it a little bit. Um, and so, but that's just my my opinion. I could be totally wrong on that, like right there. Um, but I mean, the layout on this is amazing. Just how it weaves in and out of uh, the whole island. Like you said, you've got that uh, waterfall area. You go in and out of buildings, and then I, I like too how you probably wouldn't have liked this part as much. How, um, where is it? Um, I gotta find it somewhere where basically you're on the. <laughs> went out? Yeah, it went out because you had that big hill. Yeah. You had that final lift hill, and you had the big hill. I can't find it. But either way, I thought that was cool how it was like on that third lift hill, you then have a pretty big hill. So it was really, really cool really enjoyed it um so now let's go to the left anything else you need want to say about that or no all good yep good job sonomatic yep so then here we've got the tenric tumble. tenric tunnel okay so that's that right right there i like how you kind of made these tunnels out of it like you've just carved yeah. it out and i feel like it looks I've tried to do little tunnels and they don't look good. Yeah. So you, yeah. you've done a good job of making these look good. Um, and some of that could be the fact that it's at night and you've got those little like tiki torches. Um, but you do a really good job with that. Because I'm always thinking, oh, I gotta make like an actual man-made tunnel. Um, yeah, really good job. So it looks like we got a, oh, sorry for the lag guys. So it looks like we're gonna have a water ride. Oh, we have the path, the path changes here. So. Changes to grass. There's so much to look at. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell which way. Let's go right. I mean, this is this area is beautiful. I mean, the last. I mean, obviously the Island Expo area was awesome as well, but I think this is probably my my favorite of the two areas. What do you think? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I I can't say which one I like more. Huh. Either way, really well done with both of them. Um, I like that building. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a bathroom. Oh, nope. Is that a probably a hotel? hotel. So this is called the Chateau on... Or Chateau... Mm -hmm. uh, can't pronounce that. I guess it's upside down. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible at pronouncing words, so... Something I need to get better at. Okay, so that's just a walk around the hotel. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure we're not missing anything on this island because it's fantastic. Okay, so here's the water ride. Lily Falls, I like that name for it. So I was wondering where the water ride was at. Man, this is, uh, this is impressive. It's like we just keep going up. A lot of really good terrain work. Another cool building. Use the Adobe building pieces this time. Oh, I like the um, I like that on top too. How you added like that extra dimension to it, you know? Yeah. So that's really cool. Well done. So now let's ride the Lily Falls. Oh, perfect.
See, this is your type of log flume because you've got the big hill at the beginning. So in the rest of the time, you're just relaxing. Now, oh, look. Look, we're about to drop. <laughs> that probably would have scared me. <laughs> yeah. It's really well done. Let's go fast forward up the, the hill. Okay, so it looks like we're now on the path back to the top. The top. Let's just look at some of the views for a second. Is that the chateau, the hotel? Yep. All right, so really nice water ride. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get a little elevated view here so we can really look at the the mountain that he made because it is a awesome mountain. I mean, look at that. That's just really well done. Um, and so I believe we did everything. What's that that purple building? Yeah, let's go look at that real quick. Oh, that's just like a building that oh. the mine train goes through. That's cool. And is that the... I'm guessing that's the Madagascar flag? I have no idea what the Madagascar flag looks like. I'm just going to take a guess that that's what it is. Yeah, this is... Um... I'm just really impressed with the terrain work that he did. Like it, it really takes a lot of work making all the water and, and the mountains and the island and um, mm -hmm. very nice job. I, I really like those the bridges too in between the two islands. Yeah, those are cool. Um, but I'll be interested to see what the second phase looks like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's hard It's hard to, like, compare this one to his previous park just because they're different styles, right? Um, I do see some similarities, though. I mean, there's still a lot of foliage, a lot of, you know, everything is jam-packed. There's no space that's empty. Mm -hmm. And I, I do remember him having a log flume ride in the flora and fauna one. But I think this one, the one on this one is uh, maybe not as intense, I'm, I, if I remember correctly. But um, uh, yeah, but I, that's that's what I uh, Yeah, remember. I mean, this, this is a really good park. I should have mentioned it before. If you haven't, um, check out our review on his first park, Flora and Flana. I said it right. Flora and Fauna. Flora and Fauna, not Flana. <laughs> My mm -hmm. bad, Sonomatic. On our channel, also make sure to download and rate it on the workshop um, as it's one of the higher rated parks on the PS4 Frontier Workshop. Um, so great job there. And I'm sure this one will get up there as well. Um, so as always, make sure to rate and subscribe to Sonomatic. Um, Sonomatic's content on the workshop and if you enjoy our channel we'd love for you to subscribe and like the video and i hope you have a great rest of your day